Today we're going to bring the Skyus Insigo. It's a dual SIM card, uh, My5. So we're going to take a look at it and see how fast it works and how easy it is to set up. So this thing is pretty light under pound. You got your cell, your GPS antenna, and then the cell, second cellular connection. You can mount this on the wall, these two behind the wall. And then under a pound, I would say, um, pretty light. You could plug it in. And of course, it's a different kind of power connection you're going to require here to connect, which is uh, connected to a box. And then it charges the battery, but lasts you for a couple hours on the road. Battery, built in battery. In case you take this on the go, you can move it anywhere. It could be a mobile station. Like that. All right, you could do dual SIM cards. It could be provider number one and provider number two. It's right underneath of a three volt battery, 3.8 battery, if you guys see. The battery goes as a lithium battery, same company, same provider. So here you actually provide your dual SIM cards in here. And of course, if it's this one right here, if you guys can see this, is important. If it gets wet and you're trying to return it, it changes color, so you got to be careful about that part, not to get this moisture in here. So, dual chips, SIM cards, micro SIM cards. You could have Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, or whatever priority you have, two different dual systems. So it could bounce back from, from provider or provider. You could set this up on the actual settings to who's going to lead, or you could combine the bandwidth power today. So today we only have Verizon. So let's go ahead and put this back. 60, 160, here's the system itself. I disconnected it, and if you notice, the power still has on, all right? So in the front, you got power source, Cat5 connection, and a Type-C USB connection that you could connect to your laptop, and then the power. Okay, so you have, types of connection wirelessly you connect this you don't have to connect by wire and then you have Bluetooth you could connect by Bluetooth and then your GPS system connection you got three antennas a wire here and to the back of the system this will be your router or your system All right, good speeds, good stuff. Look at that, 135 megs per byte um, download and then 80 net six. And we don't have a good signal in here, which we're indoors, which is good. 